So this all started from me wanting a faster iteration process on my building generator because it took too long for me to go from making a template of a building to generating the building in game, seeing something that I wanted to change, go back and change it, bring it over and regenerate it again to be able to make a good template. So since that was a little bit limited and things like that, especially when it came to baking down the assets and using the um, actor merger, merge actor tool within the editor to be able to merge actors together, I wanted to see if I can utilize the utility widget that they have access to now to try to make some kind of tool that can be a catch-all kind of thing for just generating like small little template setups to um, bigger projects like a building and so I can have like just in general a faster iteration process on building things and being able to replicate them here and here and here being able to go in and say hey I want to make um, a small modification to make this from building A to building B to building C to building J you know um, so what I ended up getting making is this um, building grid um, and this goes in conjunction with the uh, utility editor so right now I can set up a grid and this would be my building space let me get rid of this the little box is in the way a little bit so this is my building space for my grid in general um, I can come in, I can start, you know, building stuff here. I have a human reference model here that, you know, generically is in here to be able to get the proper scale and things like that. Um, for my building assets in general, I have the grid set to a, if I can actually select the grid, I have my grid set to a 300 by 300 by 400, which is just my general uh, sizes for my modular pieces. Um, what I have here is it generates automatically a root builder which all the other static meshes will be attached to and this root builder is kind of what I have to help um, just select the meshes that I want to eventually bake with the actor merger tool on down the line but in general um, between this grid and this setup I can capture a grid It'll load all the you know available templates that I already have saved out that I can just load back in here for iteration process or just generation process, um, or um, I can just start you know building from scratch by just duplicating this object out, um, coming over here to some kind of mesh objects, you know, and then just start trying to decide which what I want to start building with and just start extruding from there well not extruding but you know just the standard building coming through making things into other things trying to you know get an idea of what I want to do for this particular setup or whatever or layout or design and then everything I'm bringing out from here um, as I make them outside of here as you note that my uh, as you, if you know right now, my bake count is one because the only thing that is um, accounting for is this, you know, initial mesh object. But since I have all of these inside of here attached to my root, I can just easily, quickly come through and add them to my template setup by just saying add all items of the root to the base. So now, if I save this template out, I'll get this object. Um, I will get all these objects saved to a template to load back later. Um, I'm probably rushing through it because I'm nervous as general. Um, but my idea here is to just have something to where if I wanted something that I can just come back to and, you know, have iteration processes, start with a base floor, start with, you know, just some kind of like layout in general that I can come in here, load this in with whatever scaling and process that I had on to anything that I wanted to just build in general. 
Um, it can save out the positions. I can move it around easily with the grid. I can scale it with the grid if I want to. And it'll save out the proper scaling, the proper rotation, and all the other just generic crap. Um, clear grid. But um, it's just a simple tool that hopefully can help others um, that you know just want to have a better base of like trying to build stuff in the editor to save it out to bring it into different locations um no matter what it is like me in general i needed something that i could build snap stuff to without worrying about am i properly aligning these walls and things like that um a part of this tool that I couldn't get fully working because I can't get input directly from the editor while I'm moving around is the auto stepper function that I showed off previously in a video where you can just use WASD and you know some of the other keys to automatically move stuff around this grid so that way it, especially in my opinion when I had like when I was building my world and I had like a weird rotation for like my modular pieces and then I was throwing down new pieces and trying to line them up the auto stepper tool that I had in place at the time so I could just you know bring this out and then as soon as I start auto stepping I would snap it into to be in line with the grid so that way I knew that my modular pieces would automatically be together without having to worry about weird rotations and stuff like that and because of how I'm building it within the world the grid would automatically align to that but until I get that feature working in general this is just a basic uh, save function for like modular pieces so I can build this here bring it into a world um, iterate on different things that's around here so like if I want this to be fully windows I can change these to windows if I want if I wanted to start adding you know furniture and stuff into here if I want to save that out in the template I can I can save different versions of a building um, I'm pretty much just repeating the same thing over and over again right now because I ramble but if anyone else finds this you know just educationally entertaining um, this tool will be available for anyone to get whoever wants to use it for you know their modular works or whatever um and then one other thing that i'm still happy that i actually got to work let's not get the one to scale let's get the one that's properly scaled all right so this is just let's say a building that i say hey this building is final ish for right now um and i want to just bake all this stuff down before and what i made before if i can use english properly in the tool that I used before for the building generator, I would bake all these down to instances and things like that. But that was way before the actor merge tool actually existed in the engine. So now I tried to make this in tune to be able to use that. So just with ease, I can go in here and just say, hey, select all the immediate children. I have all my building parts right here. I want to come up here. to the baker tool wherever it is I'm blind there you go merge actors I can use this first option here just to merge all of them down into one actor making sure everything is set I don't think I have to change anything in here unless I'm merging materials but that can get messy especially with what I'm working on I want to try to see if I can still keep something modular with the materials to be able to try to add different uh, atlases to different building types um, and then I can just merge this actor together in general um, oh actually no I said that incorrectly the process of merging automatically brings all the UVs together inside of one texture if I'm looking at this correctly but with this modular setup if I wanted to apply a different atlas to these parts I can do that with the uh, just by simply reloading it um, the building before it was actually merged down to a single proxy mesh or merged mesh to be able to you know have that leeway of 
flexibility. I think I'm just rambling now, but let me just save this out. Just merging the actors right now. I can't remember if this is a long process or not. It probably is, so I'm going to pause the video right now. All right, so the actors merged. I have my final actor here that I can just bring out, place in the world. And if for any reason I wanted to come back and iterate on the process, I can. Oh, so it does keep the materials. I don't know why I was thinking that the materials would be incorrect, but I still need to set up these materials properly to be more of an atlas than individual uh, elements because of the draw calls and all that. But this is just a test. Um, but I still have this here to be able to come back and iterate on. I can just, now that I'm done with this, I can just destroy it down and delete my building area. Or I can generate another piece of the environment. The only thing I, I need to figure out for the cleanup part is to get rid of the root that I leave into the, inside the editor. But other than that, everything seems to be working. Um, it still is not paying attention to its own rule because according to the merge actor it says that it's supposed to use the initial mesh as the zero origin for it which should be root unless the fact that my root has no mesh attached to it that's the only reason I can see that the pivot point did not actually get set back to the middle of the house and it looks like that I had included <laughs> my actual human marker in here inside the merge which is incorrect um, of which let me show off another thing with this um, if we come in here turn off meshes if we come in here and we just generate my brain cut off alright so if we come in here generate our grid uh, of which we you know we use capture to capture the grid which will automatically generate the default um, say I come in here and I have my house so I'm gonna load the house back up um, right here on the toggle list I have it to where you can toggle on and off everything that's gonna be part of a bake and that's anything that's gonna be saved down to the file um, if for some reason I don't want the roof inside of here I can actually set components of the roof here and just say, hey, remove this from my grid. Now note, this will still have the items here attached to the root, but that just means that they won't be added as part of the template save. So let's say I have a house and it's full of, you know, furniture and other crap in here. I can delete this right now so I make sure I don't. Yes, I want to delete that. I generate more how many of these do I have I apparently have multiple of these okay I'm gonna see if I can figure out why that is a thing I have like five of these saved but um I lost track of what I was saying oh but in general if I have a template building that I have set up that I have certain things that I do and don't want to save like you know uh, lighting fixtures or different furniture placements and stuff like that that I don't want to be in here but I want it to be part of the bake I can still place them within the environment of the baking but all but just make sure that you know I remove them from the subset of the bake list before I bake I and mean, before I save them down to the um, to the template files so that's just an extension of the tool in general um, hopefully I'm not seeming like I'm rambling of which I am but hopefully that explains this tool a little bit um, if it helps some people I'm happy for that otherwise you know it's something that I'm definitely gonna have fun using hopefully with better assets than this um, happy development in general and have a good day